There's a lot of power in them there words that he was talking about. There's a lot of power in the Constitution. A lot of us reaffirmed. I know I did that we have to stand on our principles. We have to stand on the Constitution of the United States no matter who is trying to abridge that or change it. We need to stand on those principles. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate you up here. Our next speaker really doesn't need an introduction. He's going to talk about our founding fathers and their faith. Benjamin Franklin. Ben. May I introduce my wife, Deborah? Deborah is holding a flag known as Washington's Cruiser flag. This flag was used by General George Washington on his squadron of six schooners, which he outfitted at his own expense in the fall of 1775. The first vessels commissioned soon afterwards by the Continental Congress sailed under this same flag. It is a variation of the New England pine tree flag and it was later modified and adopted by the Massachusetts Navy. The Sons of Liberty would rally under a large tree in Boston which was called the Liberty Tree. This tree became a symbol of American independence. The colonists knew that they were up against a great military power. Yet they believed they were sustained by still a greater power. The revolutionaries took appeal to heaven as their slogan no longer could they look to the British government to address their issues. So they would not appeal to the king, but to the king of kings. Thank you, my dear. My prayer is that your eyes will see and your ears will hear the truth. I could tell you of political schemes that destroy the country. I could speak to you of deceivers stealing your freedoms, but you already know. I could tell you of the great threat that has come to this nation, but it would remind you of that which you already have knowledge. That is not why I came here today. I am here, my countrymen, to inform you how to restore the Republic. You have been deceived. You have been fed a lie that God was absent in the founding of this country. How preposterous. I speak to you from my heart. I beg of you, please, receive these words. The foundation of your great country is being continuously eroded. Do ye not know that divine providence followed General George in battle and protected him from harm and comforted him in times of need? Do ye not know the divine was present at the signing of the Declaration and he guided the precious words of the Constitution? We prayed and fasted for days before we laid pen to paper. Indeed, we were men of faith knowing that the divine hand of providence led and protected us in our in historic endeavors for this great nation. Today, his hand is needed more 
now than ever. <clears throat> Tis evident you are engaged in a great civil war, perhaps the most crucial war in your nation's history. Tis not a battle fought with muskets, bayonets, and cannons, but a war of values, of ideas, of beliefs. This battle is for the domination and control of your country and its people. Yeah. Dare I ask, have your blinders been removed? Can you see through the lies of tyrannical orators? Will the silent majority remain silent? We must not! Answer me, my countrymen. Can you see the future of your great nation? Lady Liberty will not allow you to continue in comfort whilst she die. It is time for armchair patriots to rise in unity and fight. God has given you a voice. Use it. And endeavor to have every single vote counted. That is our defense. You are the people entrusted to defend your democratic republic. Americans, cleave to your inalienable rights to live free from oppressive governments. Arise, sons of liberty. Awake, daughters of liberty. Stand for God. Stand for country. Stand for truth. I promised you an answer. Yes, stand for truth. I promised you an answer. Tis the same as it was in the first battle for our republic. My countrymen, Ye who labor for freedom, appeal to heaven, appeal to the God of this country, to the creator, to the right giver. The pastor opened up with to him be the glory. Amen. Yeah. To God be the glory. Give honor to the godly foundations of the United States of America. And once more, grant her the dignity to be recognized as one nation under God. You, all of you, you are freedom's last hope.